Remember when liberals used to believe in free speech and open debate? Well, this is who they are now. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! trying to block, silence, and terrorize those they disagree with. Kyle Rittenhouse spoke at the University of Memphis last night about the Milwaukee BLM riot and, of course, his acquittal on all homicide charges for the actions he took in self-defense that night. Then a hostile crowd of Black Lives Matter supporters attended his event, compelling security to rush Kyle out of the venue before things escalated. Those who actually wanted to hear what Kyle had to say were actually chased down by the free speechers. They tried to block them from even leaving their parking garage. No justice. Kyle Rittenhouse joins me now. He's the author of the book Acquitted. Uh, Kyle, good to see you tonight. Now, press reports state that you were booed off the stage. Well, that sounds rude, but is there more to it? Well, Laura, first off, thank you for having me on. And I, I have seen all those articles saying I was booed off of stage. And my speaking time for that event at Memphis University was 30 minutes. I was on stage for 30 minutes. My timer went off on my phone. My I gave my signal to my security. All right, let's wrap it up. Um, we finished our questioning. Not finished, but they got us off stage. We didn't want the people that were at that event to know when I was leaving because we did not want to give them an opportunity to mobilize and start shutting down the roads, making a security risk for me. And as we as we saw yesterday, I'm very glad that we left when we did because there's there would have been a high potential of them being able to move out and chase us down like they did to those poor Turning Point USA students. So, and it's quite so, upsetting to see how. Well, Kyle, you did get to speak, however. You did speak. So it was it was very interesting. I didn't I, I got to speak ish. I got to speak for about two to three minutes and then nobody would hear me out. So I said, OK, let's roll into Q&A. And I had about 30 minutes of a Q&A of going back and forth and talking to these people. And they didn't seem to want to listen. There were some people that I had pretty good dialogue with, That's but good. nobody really cared. Nobody just everybody just wanted to make a scene and be disrespectful and cause chaos. And I was really disappointed with the university because Turning Point USA has a ticketing system that they have been using for a while now. They use it to vet people, to make sure that they go to that campus and do get the attendees and make sure that what happened yesterday doesn't happen. What happened yesterday was the University of Memphis revoked Turning Point USA's ticketing system and impl impl implemented their own ticketing system alerted the protesters before anybody else that this is the ticketing system in place so that the protesters can go ahead and book all of the tickets uh. and either not show up, stage a mass walkout, or just harass me. I was in a, I was in a room with an entire crowd of people who did yeah, not no, like me outside yeah. of maybe three yeah, or four so people. Yeah, so Kyle, like everyone knows if, if you were, let's say, a trans athlete and you were speaking about trans empowerment, right? And a bunch of conservative kids. Yeah, and it, but if conservative kids showed up and harassed that person or you, who, you know, who harassed the speaker, refused to listen to the speaker, then chased some of the pro-trans people out, I mean, this would be a, a national news story that nobody would stop talking about. But in this case, this is just accepted behavior. And I don't understand how the university puts up with this. Uh, very quickly, Kyle, what is your advice for young conservatives on campus today? Absolutely. So I encourage all young conservatives on cap on campus to get involved with your local Turning Point chapter chapters or Young American for Liberty chapters and just get involved and know you're not alone. Know that there's other people fighting with you and that at the end Don't of the day, afraid. we are winning. Don't be afraid. 
And yeah, to all I the think... people out there who do want to hear my story, you can go to RiddenHouseBook.com, and I go in depth of what happened. And I wanted to talk about that yesterday, but unfortunately, the crowd yeah. didn't let. All me. right. Well, Kyle, uh, we appreciate your joining us and telling the story. Keep talking. I think some people do want to hear, and the other people are losing the debate. So thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.